So here we are at the end point. There is no more liquid left in the Pajera saucepan and uh, I will taste the rice and it uh, looks like it's completely ready now. It's at uh, it's done to a turn. It's I could eat it uh, immediately, serve it all immediately. As you can see I have uh, put the fire and the heat at the minimum. I will taste it and also check if there is some uh, rice attached and grilled and stick to the bottom of the pan which is called rugrat. At this step uh, you can still control if it's uncooked uh, you can put as explained earlier uh, the fix with the newspaper sheets in order to continue it uh, cooking in the upper layers that may be hard still. Fire to the minimum now, that's compulsory. Let's put a bit more light here. So as you can hear, maybe in the French file version, the original native French file that you see also in YouTube, uh, you will hear the rice is uh, sticking, it makes a little noise and that means it's grilling in the bottom of the saucepan. This is the rugrat that is getting done. The rugrat is just the fact that the layer uh, on the bottom of the saucepan is getting sticked in the bottom and is getting grilled and fried and grilled. Uh, this golden rice uh, is very good and is very, very appreciated. It's something that you're looking for in, in a paella. So I've in this case, I could have served it uh, immediately and eaten right now the paella. It's the rice is cooked perfectly well at this point. But I will try to get more rugrat. Therefore, I'm taking a little risk, and I'm leaving it a few minutes more, two three minutes more, at fire to the minimum, and trying to grill a bit more uh, the bottom layer of the rice. So maybe you can hear the the noise of the rice uh, roasting on the on the fire. Be very careful in doing so, because uh, too much cooked is the worst scenario again. Here everything is under control and, and I'm checking it uh, every s almost every single second now. So some pieces of rice is are getting brown. Uh, this is the beginning of rugrat. That's it. You see a, a point of rice that is uh, brown and golden. So rugrat is being made now. This is really for uh, specialized amateurs and connoisseurs and gourmets uh, who appreciate that. You see them the b on the bottom, uh, some rice sticked and brown. This is the rugrat. It's very good stuff. So we will continue a couple of minutes more. You see the difference, some the yellow and the brown rice. The brown is the grilled one on the bottom, the rugrat. It's finished now. We just mm, get a bit more of rugrat, of grilled rice, uh, and then we will be serving very soon. Again, if it was uh, uncooked, you can s fix it uh, with the tip of the newspaper explained in the previous file. Otherwise, send us an email at uh, iberigaze.com. You will find more explanations at, uh, on our website. So it's finished. I'm going to serve everything. It's important uh, to remove everything now from the pan. Don't leave uh, anything, any more rice on the pan. Because, one, it would be continue to cook and overcook, being overdone, which is very bad. And two, uh, if you be, uh, start eating on a dish, separated dish, and then leave the rice, some rice on the paella saucepan, it will take the taste of the iron, you know, which is very bad too. So the taste will be completely changed within 5-10 uh, minutes if you leave it uh, and get it cold uh, in the saucepan. So see the dish now with uh, nice rugrat, uh, nice grilled grains, rice uh, pieces. So I'm removing everything. 
You can keep the paella in your fridge uh, one week with no issue. You can eat it cold uh, or you can reheat it in an oven preferably or in another pan, but I prefer it uh, in an oven. And of course you can eat everything uh, right now. Uh, just prior to serving you can add fine herbs, thyme, and, but most commonly and traditionally uh, rosemary. Rosemary is a typical uh, Mediterranean herb. It is also served with uh, slices of lemon, even this uh, valen paella valenciana. Mm, very good stuff. It's really good, this one. So I've been successful. As you see, it's not very complicated. You need a bit of attention, uh, of practice, of course, like everything. The two key points are the, the cooking point of the rice. Don't miss when there is no more liquid left. Be very careful. And two, the broth. Use a very tasteful broth, like the cocido broth. Good luck and enjoy your meal. <laughs>